Hello campers, here's a little tutorial on how to light the Charlie oven and how much charcoal you need. So I've already put a little bit of charcoal in this one, so let's have a look. Go in here close, relative to the size of my hand, or certainly the hand of a chimpanzee that we can see here. So you'll see it's a smallish pile of charcoal, and I reckon that's pretty much all you need for 90% of any cooking that you're ever going to do. That'll get really hot, it'll stay at temperature for quite a long time. So I've made a little pile there. Now we get the pl trusty plumber's blowtorch. I much prefer this to um, using fire lighters. I actually also feel more manly when I'm doing it as well. Look at that. So what we do is we've got some lovely good quality charcoal here. All we do is we get it glowing. And once it is glowing, whoa, look at that. Hold the blowtorch the right way up, health and safety. Once we get it glowing, yeah, it doesn't take long. Once we get a bit of glow on it, that, ladies and gentlemen, is lit. So, turn the blow torch off, open the two air vents, shut the door, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. We'll come back in a few minutes to see how quickly it's heated up. Of course, the other way to light it, if you haven't got a blow torch, or well, don't fancy that sort of action, is with one of these little chaps here, which is a wood wool fire lighter. So just open it up a bit to get a bit of surface area on it, light it with a match, and then put it under that pile of charcoal. And then the procedure is exactly the same as we looked at before. You've got it lit, that's it. Open up the two vents, top and bottom. The air flows through the oven, door is shut, leave it alone. Temperature will go up 200 degrees Celsius, 20 minutes, 300 degrees Celsius, 30 minutes. And we'll come on to talk about how to control the temperature to have it exactly where you want. So what we're going to do here is to set the oven at 110 degrees to cook a leg of lamb for a really long time. We've added some wood chips to the charcoal just to get a little bit of extra je ne sais quoi from the smoke. So you'll see that the temperature has now reached 100 degrees. Okay, we're about, I don't know, 15 minutes after we lit it. So what we're going to do at this point to stop the temperature rising is we're going to close the bottom vent to almost shut. See, I've just got my fingers in behind there. And we're going to close the top vent to almost shut. Now, that temperature will now hold at 100 degrees and then it'll just creep up a tiny bit. Okay, we can see it creeping now to about 105 and then it'll stop at 110. If we need to finesse, finesse anything at all, we just finesse the top vent to let a little bit more air in. If we want it to rise slightly if it's dropping, or to shut it completely if it's rising a bit too fast. But that then will hold for hours and hours and hours.